So let's keep going on these. Some of these can be fairly challenging. And I'll just rewrite this. So 17 minus 3x over x minus 3 times x minus 4 equals x plus 1 over x minus 4. And first of all, we want to eliminate which x values can't be solutions. So it could be 3 or 4 in both of these cases. And now we want to get the x's out of our denominator. So we're going to multiply both sides by these denominators. And notice that each of these have x minus 4 in it. So if we multiply both sides by x minus 4, the x minus 4s in the denominator will cancel. And we can also multiply each side by x minus 3 so that that cancels out over here. And let's say for argument's sake that this was x plus 4. And so now you would have three different expressions in the denominator. And you can also multiply everything by x plus 4 to cancel that one out. And it would be much messier, but however many different expressions you have, you can multiply by that many different products here, or factors. So let's cancel things out now. So the x minus 3 and the x minus 4 will cancel. We just get 17 minus 3x on the left. And on the right, the x minus 4s will cancel, since something divided by itself is always 1. And you'd be left with x plus 1 here and x minus 3 here. And now we just need to simplify, so let's multiply out those binomials. We get x squared minus 3x plus 1x minus 3. And we have a quadratic, so let's set one side equal to 0. So let's subtract 17 and add 3x. So we get x squared. The 3x's will actually cancel. And we have this plus x. Now we're also subtracting 17, so this becomes minus 20. And we'll factor this. We're looking for these two binomials that multiply to this quadratic. And since the coefficient on x squared is 1, we know this will have to be x and x. And these number terms here that are missing, they will multiply to negative 20. So let's think which pairs of numbers that multiply to negative 20 adds to the coefficient on x, which is 1 in this case. So we can write them down. You can do 1 and minus 20 or vice versa with the negatives. You can do 2 and minus 10 or minus 2 and 10. You can do minus 4 and 5 or minus 5 and 4. And they have to add to positive 1. So that's this case right here. So we could rewrite this now as minus 4 and plus 5. And you can multiply this out. Prove to yourself that these are equivalent to each other. But at this point, we can use our zero product property. So x can be 4 or negative 5 is the solution. But be very careful here because notice x can't be 4. It can't be 3 as well, but 3 is not a solution. But we said in the beginning x can't be 4. If you plug in 4 when you check your work, then you're going to end up with division by 0, and that doesn't make sense. That's undefined. So we can eliminate 4 as one of the answers, and so the only solution to this is when x is negative 5. Now, it's always important to plug your answers back into the original equation and check your work, because sometimes you might forget to write this down, and then you won't realize that 4 shouldn't be a solution. But if you were plugging it in and checking your work, you would end up with division by 0, and that would make sense, and you would realize that you can't plug in 4 here. So it's just a way to catch your mistakes. You always want to double-check your work, especially when solving equations. Just plug it back in and see if it makes sense. Now let's keep moving, and we'll do a couple more. So for this one, let me rewrite it. We have minus 5 over x times x minus 1 is equal to x plus 5 divided by x. And we need to cancel out these denominators. But first, let's say that x can't be 0 for this one and this one. And x can't be positive 1. So these we know are the values outside of our domain of our solution. It definitely can't be these. And at this point, let's do some multiplication so that we can cancel out these denominators. If we multiply each side by x, these will cancel. And if we multiply each side by x minus 1, 
this denominator will cancel out. So we have x minus 1 and x that we're multiplying by. And on the left-hand side, the x and x minus 1 will cancel out, and we'll just get negative 5. And on the right side, the x's cancel out, and we'll just get x plus 5 times x minus 1. Now we'll have to multiply this out. We get x squared minus x plus 5x minus 5. And it's a quadratic. Let's add the add 5 to each side to get rid of this negative 5. So we can set one side equal to 0, and we can either use factoring or the quadratic formula. And we get x squared minus x plus 5x would just be 4x. And minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So we get plus 0 here. And actually, this is an x squared. And when you're missing the constant term, it's much more straightforward to factor since you can use factoring with a common factor. Notice that each of these have an x in it. So we can pull that out. We get x times x plus 4. And the two solutions now would be 0 and negative 4. But we've eliminated 0. We know for sure that x can't be 0 because that leads to division by 0. So negative 4 is our only solution, or at least we think so. And at this point, you'll want to plug it back in. Make sure that the equation does make sense. But we, I can assume you did that, and this is definitely true. So negative 4 is the only solution to this one. Let's do one last problem. So this one's a bit complicated looking. We've got this quadratic expression up here. But it's going to work the exact same way. Let me make just a bit more room here. And we have x squared. Let me make more room since we're going to be multiplying. We have x squared plus x minus 8 all divided by x minus 3 times x plus 5. And all of this is negative. And this is equal to x over x minus 3. Now, immediately, we know that x cannot be 3 here. And it cannot be negative 5 here. So at this point, let's just multiply to get rid of those de denominators. So over here, we can multiply by x minus 3. And we'll do that on both sides. But we also will have to multiply by x plus 5. So we can cancel all of those denominators out all at once. And on the left, this will cancel with this denominator. We just get the opposite of this quadratic. Now notice the negative is outside of the rational expression here. So this negative is really distributing to this whole thing. x squared plus x minus 8. And on this side, the x minus 3's cancel. We get x times x plus 5. And we just need to simplify. So over here we'll distribute and all of these, the signs will flip. We get minus x squared minus x plus 8. And over here we get x squared plus 5x. Now let's move everything to the right so that we can make the coefficient on x squared positive. So we get 0 here if we add x squared, add x, and subtract 8. So x squared and x squared make 2x squared. Then we're adding the x, so we get plus 6x. And we're subtracting the 8, so we get minus 8. And notice everything is divisible by 2. So let's just divide everything by 2 just to make our numbers smaller and more manageable. So we have that 0 is x squared plus 3x minus 4. And this we can try factoring, or like I mentioned, you can always use the quadratic formula if you're not sure. So 0 is the product of these two binomials, where the first terms are going to make x squared, so they each have to be x and x. And then these number terms are going to multiply to negative 4. So let's look at the possible numbers that could multiply to negative 4. It could be 1 and minus 4, minus 1 and 4, or minus 2 and 2. And we also know that they're going to have to add up to 3 here, this coefficient on x. And when we look at this, this minus 1 and 4 is the only choice. So in our binomials, we'll have x minus 1 and x plus 4. And we can use the zero product property. So 1 here would be a solution and negative 4. So these are our two solutions. And if we look at our restrictions, 1 and negative 4 were not included. 
and we can rewrite our answers as 1 and negative 4. So now we go to the multiple choice, and most of these problems in the exercises will be multiple choice, but it's always better to know how to do this by hand when you don't have the answers. So if you can do it by hand without knowing a list of possible answers, that is better, but you do want to be comfortable with multiple choice as well. So notice that negative 4 is right here, and 1 is right here since we're choosing all the answers that apply.